Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a pop-up menu in Microsoft Excel 2010 or even 2007 using macros. Now, there are several reasons why you may want to do a menu option in your project. Uh, my personal reason is because I like to give users multiple options without having to draw so many buttons. So in this case, let me go on and get started and show you the demonstration. If I was to click menu options, a pop-up menu is going to come up that says run macro, hello world, run macro 2 and, and run macro 3. All of the fields in here can be changed to whatever you'd like. I mean, I just put run macro 3, run macro 3, and run macro hello world. Now, again, you can change that to, to, your, to whatever you'd like. You can add more options. And what I've done, though, is I've created three macros, hello world macro, macro 2, and macro 3. And all these are, if I was to click edit on hello world macro, that's going to be message box hello world. Macro 2 is a message box, and then Macro 3 is also a message box. Now, the button is assigned to the Macro pop-up menu button. So this is what we're going to do, show you the, the demonstration. I'm going to click it, the, the pop-up menu is here, and I'm going to select Run Macro Hello World, and we get the message box Hello World. If we were to click the button and not select anything in the menu, just click on the sheet or anywhere else, the, the pop-up menu goes away. And the reason why I'm explaining it this way is because technically this is not a pop-up menu. What I'm using is a control called the command bar. Now I'm not going to go into detail explaining what command bars are, but if you want to read up on command bars, visit the Microsoft Developer Network website. There is an article regarding the command bars. I'm not going to say that people find it extremely helpful, but the examples that they have talk about menu bar, command bar objects, which is pretty much what we're going to be talking about in this video. So if you are interested in learning how to create this menu and do that for your project, please watch um, the next video. This is video one of two. Watch video two of two. It's going to be a, a brief video that shows how to create this menu step by step and how you can assign macros to it. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.